Hello everybody. I'd like to show you this video. This is, as you can tell, this is a Entex Turtles game. And this is this video isn't about Entex Turtles, but what it is about is how I changed an Entex Turtles into something a whole lot better. Uh, but first I'll start with the Turtles case, I guess you can call it. As you can see, well basically you play it like this. But what I thought I could do was play it like this and have two joysticks. Now what game, what really cool game from the 80s, used two joysticks like that? Well, it was Robotron. And they didn't make a Robotron handheld, at least not to my knowledge anyways. And I thought, well, what, be, what a good idea. I'll make myself my very own, one-of-a-kind Robotron. Um, an Entex Robotron, why not? So I used a Entex case, as you can see here, because it has it's perfect in size. Because look at that, this is, it's thick enough you can stick a, a pie, a Raspberry Pi in there. You can keep the batteries, the battery cases, without having to fiddle with those. It's got a fairly good sized screen, two joysticks, and it's just solid. These these were made so well. So I figured, why not? So I kept this one. It's kind of busted joystick, I know, but I got another one off eBay and decided to use that one to change what used to be turtles into da -da -da -da, a Robotron. There it is, look at that. I was able to find some pretty good graphics online. And yeah, just basically made them with the computer. As difficult as it was, that was probably the hardest part of this build was to was to print those decals out. But there it is. I painted it black, added a bunch of stuff to it, put some little lobbies on top of the joysticks. But basically, what we have here is a Robotron. I can turn it on, and it loads up a Pi. And so you don't have to see that boring text go by, I decided to put a little movie that's just the right length and to get it loaded into uh, what I use this time. Anyways, I made one of these before. I'll show you that in a second, but I used Emulation Station this time. It's more fiddly, but once you get everything the way you want it, it's actually not a bad system to use. Any moment now. So what I've done is I've, I've made it so Robotron is only two clicks away. So there. Let's see if I can get this without messing it up. One click, two click. So it loads a main version of it, of course. Look at that, there it is. Robotron in its glory. So what I've done here is I've put a few buttons, extra buttons on the thing, because you have to. These few buttons here, this one is a coin, this one is pause, this one is escape. There's the on off switch right there. Volume control, two USB ports uh, on the side here. This one here is uh, if you want to run it on a, a, DC, a DC adapter. This one here is if you want to charge it. Um, I guess I could have combined them, but yeah, whatever. And this here is, you press this, it gives you a state of the battery, which is showing low right now. Not surprised. On the bottom, we have these three buttons here control the screen, um, you know, the brightness and contrast and all that. These two here, these are lights. If the batteries were good, these would be lit up, showing the state. That would be red, that would be green with the, the hard drive. Act, um, turns on and off with the, like the, the hard drive light does. And yeah, just, I think it uh, turned out rather well. Added a couple more buttons that, were, that weren't on the turtles. These two are the same. 
and there's two on the side here. And this one here is to start. So you enter a coin, press start, and you can play away. When you finish with that, you ex exit out. And you can play all sorts of other main games, or Apple, Atari, 2600, Commodore 64. Um, this is an IBM type thing. Um, Nintendo NES 64. Now ports, this is cool because you can actually run Doom on this thing. Look at that. I think it's this button that starts it. Yeah, oops. Turn the volume up. Who would have thought you can play Doom on an Antex Turtles? So when you finish gaming, you press the button there. And the great thing about Emulation Station is it's a whole lot easier to turn it off. Because it's, again, it's Linux. It needs to be shut down a proper way, so you press, press that. You go down to quit. And you can restart, you can shut down system or just quit emulation station. I want to quit all together. Yes, I do. And then it just goes through that and you can turn it off. So there it is. Click. Now, I made one of these before. I made a video of it too. I used a Calico, um, Calico housing this time. And this worked out quite well. I loved how it turned out. But then I realized, you know, my favorite game isn't on there. I couldn't play Robotron on it because I didn't have two joysticks. So I figured, well, time to get two joysticks in there. So there you have it. I think at the end of this video, I'll put some pictures of the build process, what the inside looks like and everything. But it's pretty packed full of wires. But it's a whole lot of fun. I had so much fun building the last one, I had to do it again. And this is the result. So, hope you like, and I'll talk to you again.